Hello viewers, today we're going to talk about the most important sensor of them all, the crankshaft position sensor. If it fails, your car will most likely not start at all, and even if it does, you will still have all sorts of engine issues. But why is the crankshaft position sensor so vital to engine's operation? Well, that's exactly what we're going to find out in this video. But before we do continue, Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification button to get all the latest updates from our channel. When the engine is running, its pistons are going up and down and spin the crankshaft, which consequently generates power. But for this to happen, all of its components have to work in perfect harmony. For instance, intake and outlet valves have to open at just the right time, which is governed by a timing chain that connects the crankshaft and camshafts. In addition, the fuel injection and ignition also have to be perfectly timed. For this, the ECU has to know how fast the engine is spinning and at which point of the combustion process are each of its pistons. And this is where the crankshaft position sensor steps in. In simple words, this sensor sits near the crankshaft and measures its speed. Now, at this point, we won't go into explaining the theory of Hall effect, which makes this and many other sensors work. Instead, let's go under the hood and see where you might find the crankshaft position sensor. Due to the nature of its job, the crankshaft position sensor has to be located on the bottom side of the engine. In most cars, you will find it somewhere on the transmission end, near the flywheel. Some manufacturers, however, put it on the timing belt side of the engine. If you're having trouble finding the crankshaft position sensor in your car, let us know in the comment section below. Now let's get to the main question. How can you tell if this sensor is bad? As always, a bad sensor will most likely trigger a check engine light. The good thing is, this means there will be a trouble code stored in vehicle's memory. So it's time to hook up your scan tool and see what's causing the issue. The codes you are most likely to see if your crankshaft sensor is bad are the following. Although not limited to them only. With a bad crankshaft position sensor, your engine's performance will be anything but ideal. This is because false reading it may be feeding to the ECU may offset fuel injection and timing, which can cause strong vibrations. Even worse, the problem is only going to get worse over the time and may even cause additional engine damage. With the fuel injection and timing being off, the engine will be down on power. In addition, if the car has variable valve timing, this will not work properly either. The end result is sluggish acceleration, reduced top speed and increased fuel consumption. If the crankshaft position sensor fails completely and doesn't send a signal, the engine will not start at all. This is because the ECU will not trigger the spark plugs or fuel injectors until it finds out at which point the crankshaft and pistons are. In many cases, this will initially only happen when the engine is warm, but it will get worse with time. The only good thing is that this will definitely trigger a check engine light, meaning you'll have a corresponding code to help you narrow down the problem. Sometimes the car will start and run fine, but then suddenly stall after it warms up. One of many possible causes for this is a bad crankshaft sensor. This would happen if it sends correct signals while it's cold and then gets all haywire when the engine temperature goes up. Lastly, there is always a possibility the ECU hasn't detected that the signals coming from the crankshaft position sensors are incorrect. This will, once again, offset the fuel and injection timing, which is likely to result in a misfire. So if your engine is randomly misfiring on all cylinders, the crankshaft position sensor is one of the things to check. If you're having any of these symptoms and believe your crankshaft position sensor is bad, don't rush to replace it just yet. This is because several other things may be causing the issue, so it's worth checking them first. Start by closely inspecting the wiring that connects to the sensor, as it may be damaged or cracked. This is especially true if the wiring is near the exhaust manifold, because the heat makes the wires hard and brittle. 
Next, check the connector and make sure it's not loose. If it seems ok, unplug it and see if there are any traces of contaminants such as oil or corrosion. Lastly, you can pull out the sensor itself and check its condition. Sometimes sludge or metal shavings may accumulate on it and offset its reading. But if all this checks out and still doesn't help, it's time to replace the sensor. Which brings us to the next question. How much will this set you back? For most cars, the crankshaft position sensor costs anywhere between 50 and 200 bucks. And for such a vital component, you really want to have a genuine part made by the manufacturer itself. This means buying it directly from dealer and nowhere else. Sure, replacement aftermarket's part may be cheaper, but they sometimes don't work as well as they should, so it's not worth the risk. Replacing the sensor itself is a simple job, as it only involves removing one or two bolts. Getting to it, however, can be a whole different story, as other engine components are usually in the way. For instance, in this car, you'll have to take the whole intake manifold just to gain access to the crankshaft position sensor. But in this one, you can reach it by pulling your arm right here. This differs depending on the car and the engine it has, and will greatly affect the price if you're paying a mechanic to replace it. So, there you have it. I hope this video helped you figure out if your crankshaft sensor is playing tricks on you. If so, give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. But if not, something else may be causing the issue. To continue troubleshooting, visit our website or check out our other videos on this YouTube channel.